Okay, so I built the most basic unlocking clip for Nokia DCT3 uh, generation phones and I'm going to show you how it works in a minute. Uh, this is the prototype board I was working on. So basically you need this pick which is a 12C672 Zero four. So it's basically a pick, a switch, an LED, and a resistor for the LED. You can power it by battery or USB. It works on uh, voltages between three and five volts, so you can even put a double, uh, two AA batteries in there to power it. And uh, here I put the. Um, uh, RJ45 port with uh, UFS configuration so you can use your old cables if you have some or if you don't have any cables uh, you only need the ground and M bus wires connected to the phone to unlock it so you can you can simply just take uh, the M bus and ground uh, and connect it to the phone and unlock it this is the uh, PCB that I ended up uh, making so here goes the RJ45 port, uh, U I put a USB port here, I put a rechargeable battery inside, so I put a USB port there to recharge the battery. So you don't need at this point, you don't need a computer or anything else, just recharge that battery and uh, it's going to be good for hundreds of unlocks really. So that's the USB port to unlock the battery and the battery pins go here, plus minus. There's the LED to show you what's going on, uh, the switch, the resistor for the LED so it doesn't burn the LED, and I put a diode here uh, from the USB port to uh, protect the whole circuit really. So uh, let me show you how it works. So here's the Nokia phone, got nice 3410, uh, as you can see is locked. So Here's how it works. You take the SIM card out. If you don't have a cable like I do here, just connect the ground and bus right there with wires and then put the battery in and unlock it. But I have a cable, so let's do that. Just plug that in. And plug this in the clip like so. So what you want to do now is uh, press this switch here to turn the clip on and keep it pressed like that and turn the phone on the LED will go on uh, off and then back on when it starts blinking fast you have to let go of the switch like that if you keep it pressed it's gonna change the serial number of the phone so if you don't want to do that just uh, release the key when that starts blinking. So let's test it now. As you can see, the phone is now unlocked, and that's it. Simple as that. Uh, if you want to buy one of these, I'll put a link in the description. I uh, made a few spare ones uh, without any cables, just one of these. And uh, yeah, that's it. Thanks for watching.